Hey guys, myself Rakesh and I welcome you back to Expo Hope channel. This question could be a complex question where many people will go wrong. Okay, let's read the question. A developer created a process to capture caller data from a call center application. The process is designed to help a call center employee enter details about call into an Excel sheet. So imagine you are calling a call center. So when you are calling, your basic details will be available. For example, the phone number that you are calling from, your name, your email address, some basic details you can imagine. So let's say the call center employee has to capture the basic details of the customer who called in, what is his number, what is his email address into an Excel sheet. So the developers have created a process which is going to do it automatically. For instance, when a call center employee receives an incoming call, the employee starts the attended robot. The moment the call has appeared, right, he will initiate the attended robot. The robot performs the following task from the, how will you initiate the attended robot? Using UiPath Assistant, okay. The robot performs the following tasks, scrapes the structured data from the application, it will immediately scrape the data. You will use the get full text or data scraping or screen scraping activities to scrape the data, perform, um, uh, performs the data manipulation to match and format the data. Then you will do data um, manipulation using regular ex expression or maybe using uh, string manipulation using vv.net, right? Basic methods you can manipulate the data writes the formatted data into an excel sheet then it's supposed to write the data into an excel sheet and at the end send a microsoft outlook email with the excel sheet attached then at the end we have to send out an email that's all the processes very simple okay that's all the four step process that is being automated now the question is which workflow activity requires modifications to some of the properties default values to ensure that this process runs in the background. For it to run it in the, in the background, which one of this activity you are going to make changes in the property so that it can run in the background. Now regular expression matches, are you going to do it? Send outlook mail message, are you going to do it? Get full text while scraping the data, are you going to do it? Or for the Excel application scope, are you going to do it? So these are the four options given and many of us will be confused which is the right one, right? We have seen type into click activity, simulate click, all this we, we know. But when it comes to this question, people will be highly confused. So let me tell you what is the right answer and how do you find the correct answer in the documentation. So I will search for Excel application scope UI path and I am going to get inside the docs.uipath.com. Okay, reading the documentation is very, very important because there are a lot of things how the activity is designed. You will not know until unless you go through the docs.uipath.com. Okay, so while it is loading, what we will do, we'll also understand a demo of it. Okay, now if you type Excel process scope. The moment you type, um, sorry, it's Excel application scope. Okay. Excel application scope is the activity. Excel application scope is the activity from the classic design. So you will not get it. All you have to do is click on this filter option, hit on show classic. The moment you enable this show classic, you see the Excel application scope. Drag and drop this activity. Okay. Now there are certain properties of this activity. So one of the properties visible. So what is the meaning of the visible? Let me show you. Okay, so the page has been loaded for Excel application scope. Let's scroll down. And here there is an explanation of this property. When selected, the Excel file is open in the foreground while performing actions, remember. So by default, it is selected. So when it is selected, the Excel file will be brought to the foreground right and then whatever the action has to be done it will be done that is the meaning and when it is cleared that means when you remove the check mark all operations are done in the background okay now many people have might have done a 
practical but they might have not got an understanding whether it's really running in the background or not okay so let me show you how i am going to show the experiment just to show you how it is running in the background so i will you know point out to a blank excel file and here i am going to use a right cell activity okay so all these right cell activities you will get you have to go with app integration right cell which works with this scope okay do not use the green color one all right and here let me simply write my name let's say rakesh now the, it is enabled as visible okay so when you run this now if you see on my taskbar the excel application is not opened i have not opened excel application okay now if i run this what would happen look at the taskbar okay look at the taskbar you will see the excel application scope will be opened here look at this after this it will, it will open here look at the taskbar focus on the taskbar it will happen for a very minute seconds okay give it few seconds it's trying to open the excel application scope and will try to bring the app in the foreground foreground doesn't necessarily mean it will open it in front of you right you just look at the task bar look at this are you able to see it are you able to see it so if you click you will be able to find the application is being opened action and then closed automatically so my task bar is done now what would happen if i remove this the visible option if i remove it now if i run it you will see the uh, excel application on your task bar won't be open so it will happen everything in the background look at this it will complete look at the execution see see nothing nothing will be opened look at this see nothing has opened okay see nothing has opened it is happening everything in the background now if i uh, once again enable the visible option and run it look at my taskbar you will see the application is being brought to the foreground look at this now it will happen any time look do you see do you see it has been opened okay it might come to the foreground or may not it may happen within fraction of seconds so it is uh, you can provide a delay activity and try to analyze it okay so that is the meaning so the sentence what is given here when selected the excel file is opened in foreground while performing actions on it when it is cleared all operations are done in the background okay so the right answer is excel application scope guys so thank you hopefully you have got the right answer you have also seen the documentation and you will be absolutely confident while selecting this answer so thank you guys thank you uh, for watching the video we are going to come up with more such conceptual contents which you should watch before attempting any exam or interview which will give you more clarity thank you guys take care bye bye